Hi, everybody. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I do. I'm going to scoot you back. Okay, that looks good. Maybe over a little. Okay, I think that's good right there. We're going to call it good. So I'm going to be making stuffed jalapeno, stuffed tomatoes, and stuffed red peppers. And I'm very excited for this. So we're going to mix different things to put in the different items. So first we're going to go with the um, jalapeno poppers. And what we're going to do with those, I'm going to bring out some little separate dishes. So we, oh, oh, yes, my eye is burning. So I had was handling the peppers with no gloves. And then I washed my hands a couple times, but then, you know, it takes a couple of few times. I reached up and itched my eye. So this eye is burning. So I thought I was going to show you what you do for, for that. So this is milk. And you just take a container that you can kind of make a seal with, which I'm not doing very well for with. But And then you keep your eye and just dip the milk in your eye. Or not in your eye, but you know what I mean. And it is a instant fix to a burning eye with if you get your eye in there with some uh, heat, jalapenos or whatnot. You know, it takes a minute to clear your eye up to see clearly because, you know, you just put milk there. But it clears up really fast. So now we're just going to go ahead and, and we are just going to take this and we are going to put this right into the peppers. So scoop. My eye is all cleared up and no longer burning. It's amazing. So, yeah, so that's about what we're going to fit in there. And we're just going to take it, clean it up a little bit. Okay, and we're going to put that on there. And these, sometimes these will roll. And you might need to prop it up with the uh, side of the pan. But, and I'll show you how we're going to do the tomatoes next. So we just fill them like this and get them all in the bowl. You can prop them up against the end of the pan or you can prop them up um, against each other as well. Okay, I have the um, jalapenos stuffed and on the pan. So, oh, doesn't that look good? All right, I don't want them to roll around, so I'm propping them up against each other, which is fine. And then, so our next one is the tomatoes, and I want to show you how I um, so you want to leave them upside down for a little while and then juices will drain out. So that's what you want. And then you want to take a paper towel and just kind of dab the edge. And then to have it stand up, because it's a tomato, okay, right? We're going to cut a slight, a very slight. <laughs> wow, really? Okay, very slight. Um, there so you don't go through see I went through the tomato unfortunately that's gonna be bad but this one I did very well I didn't get go through so hopefully you don't go through the tomato like I did so we're gonna just a slight there we go that should be good there see no going through and then they stand up so you just oh yeah you can see it so they're standing there and what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna use some tuna Tuna. So we're going to get some tuna going. And we're going to do this all in the same bowl. So I did the jalapenos already. And see, I'm not going to clean the bowl. I'm just going to continue to use the same bowl, which is fine. Oh, all right. I see what happened. The label, which I should have just taken off.
can. My, my can opener is old. Not com it's about eight to nine years old right now. So I've used and abused it. <laughs> so we're going to drain the water. So this is a, a albacore, chunked albacore in water. Um, Bumble bee tuna. Yeah, it's a wild caught chunk, chunk white albacore. And I'm, it's in water, I'm sure. I don't know. It doesn't say. Because it better be in water. Oh, yeah. In water. It's on there. Yeah. So I don't like the oil from the tuna. Okay, so this is getting drained. I'm going to plop it in the, in the bowl. Get, get it in the bowl. I'm going to pull some of this out because I have three tomatoes and two big peppers. And I have one more can of tuna. So I'm more in the, in the cabinet, but I don't want to go through too much. Okay, so we're going to pull a little bit of this out with um, this bowl right here. And this will be for the, the peppers when I get to there. But right now we're going to do the tomato. Mm, let's get a chunk in there. So I. I got three tomatoes to fill, and I'm thinking about that much. I'll fill them. You know, I don't want too much in here because I don't want to have to. There, that should be good. And then I'll have a little bit extra for the peppers. So we're going to get this good mashed up. And we're adding other things in here, too. So. All right, so the, to this one, we are going to add... Cream. And some of our homemade pico de gallo. Homemade pico de gallo. Okay, look at that one. I think it's Spoon for that. Now, when you refrigerate it, it's gonna do that. My refrigerator feels very cold right now, and I'm struggling to get it adjusted properly. So, but we're gonna add some of this in there, and it's gonna be delicious. Um, maybe another little tiny. There we go. Mix this up. Get this good mix up. We'll give this a taste. I think it's going to be good. We'll see. So we're kind of like making a tuna pate, a spicy, you know, right? So it does have the onions and jalapenos in there as well. That looks good. We're going to give that a taste right there. And we're going to get the stuff in this in there. Let's see. Let's see where we're at here. Let's see if I can get a little bit of everything in there. Well. Um, that, my friends, is going to be one of my new recipes. That is delicious. How much you want to bet it would be salmon? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Salmon with the pico de gallo, sour cream. Wow. Delicious. We're going to put some salt on there because we want the flavor to be enhanced. And then maybe a little pepper as well. 
<clears throat> I don't think it's going to need anything else. Because, oh my gosh, dear. Oh yeah, you know what else we're going to put in there? We're going to put parsley because it's very mild spice and I love it. Put a little bit of parsley in there. And then you know what we're going to do as well? We're going to top it with parsley as well. So I don't want to stop there with what I put in. And I'm going to give it another little taste. I think it's going to be perfect at this point. And then we're going to get those um, tomatoes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Oh, yeah. So, oh. my recipe, folks, do not take my recipe this time. No, I'm kidding. I don't care. It's going in my book either way. So, then you take a tomato and you get this good down in there. Just you make sure it's really full. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. Don't you shoot me in the way. But all three of these um, will be mine because my husband doesn't like tomatoes. But I do. So we're gonna overstuff it just a little bit like that. And then we're gonna take a little bit of parsley. You know what? We're gonna do that after it's cooked. We're gonna to top it with parsley afterwards. Okay. And the other one, we might have made a little too much, but that's okay. I'm gonna put this on whatever's left over. I'm going to toast a piece of bread. <laughs> you betcha. Part of my lunch today. Get that good down in there. All those air bubbles out. Give it a little top. Clean up that side just a little bit. There's only one tomato on the top, so we're going to find a tomato. Tap it to get it a kind of a messy look like that. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So a little messy, but good. We're going to go ahead and put these on the pan. Two are ready. Two. Two down. <laughs> okay, so now uh, we are going to do the peppers. Use my knife, so <laughs> that's why I bought two things. Should we do the yellow one too? I think we shall. My husband's gonna love these, and the jalapeno ones are already good. We already know that. Okay, so we're gonna core it basically the same way. Cut the top off. We're going to take our spoon and get around that core. Let's go down the sides like that. Now we're going to scoop that and the seeds all into the garbage can. You want to get as much of that meat out, not the meat, but the a core part uh, attached stuff all this stuff around the edges so you can have a nice big we might need another we're gonna need another can of cleaner I'm afraid if I do the yellow one but that's okay we're gonna do it and then we're gonna cut up these tops and put those in there as well so this one's much darker than that one it's so weird some and you could even just do this, put your hand in there and twist. And there it is. Not a big deal. So I'm just gonna take the rest of the meat off of there, or the, you know, the core fibers. And any seeds, leftover seeds. We do not want seeds. Oh, 
Okay, so we want to do that. Now we're going to cut up these extra peppers to put in to the stuffing. Oh boy. Get these peppers chopped up. I think we're going to need a bigger boat for all three of these large peppers. To keep anything I drop, I gotta pick up right away so my dog doesn't get it. He'll come over and munch that down. You know, foodaholic. <laughs> You're junk food junkie. No, I'm kidding. You know, he probably does. He's a cutie. So I got my clippers and groomed him down to nothing. Not happy about that. And then, okay, so let me talk about um, the fight him and I got into yesterday so his sweater was too big and so I wanted to you know fix it right so I got my little needle and thread out and I was just gonna hand fix it not a big deal which I did and but I kept having to like put it on and check things out you know see how far I needed to go in <laughs> he was not a happy camper he was getting mad at me and he was like leave me the fuck alone bitch and I was like, no, you're going to do this. We're doing this. And he didn't like it at all. So uh, we got in a little bit of tip about that. He growled at me. So I was sitting there, and he was upset about the whole thing. And he growled at me. And I kind of went like that. But I had the blanket over my arm, and I kind of went like that. Yeah, he bit the blanket. I said, oh, no, you did it, mister. Oh, he was in so much trouble. So then... It just escalated from there, and he was really mad at me, and he was growling at me and trying to bite me. He didn't bite me, though, you know, like I didn't get bit, but he nipped at that blanket. So when he gets in those kind of moods, and he's just like, leave me the fuck alone, bitch, and um, but he's overall, he's a good dog, but he does have some issues. He gets in a shitty fucking mood and he doesn't want to be touched and he growls if he doesn't want to be touched. But yesterday I needed to touch him to fix the damn sweater. So I'm not going to wait for you to calm your ass down. You're going to do what I want you to do. You're a dog and I'm a human. And that's just all there is to that. So I put the sweater on him to fit it. And then I took it off. And that, he didn't want me to take it off. Once it was on, he was like, leave it on. If it was off, leave it off. But I had, kept having to go back and forth, and he was getting to be a dick about it. So then he nipped at me, and I said, oh, no, we're not having that. So I went and got the broom, because this has happened one other time. I went and got the broom. I said, that's it, bathroom. And I put him in the bathroom. I put him in a timeout to get all calmed down and everything, you know. And But I have to use the broom, because he will... If he's in that mode, he'll attack the broom. And if it's my arm, he'll probably, I don't know. I've never attempted it. But, um, yeah, he does. So he is a cute dog, and he is a sweet dog, but he does have issues. I mean, we all have issues. He does not. And I don't know if it's because of me I can't be touched or it because it came on about the same time. So I don't know. Maybe he has burning skin, too. Who knows? Um, I, don't, I don't think so, but. I think it's just, he's just being a dick at that point. And then, you know, my dogs are dicks sometimes. And then, I don't really want jalapenos in this one. So, we got some leftover jalapenos and onions, which we will put on the nachos that I'm making tonight, along with this. So, we are going to have a feast of snacks. <laughs> all right, so all this is going to go in the bowl. I think I'm going to need a bigger bowl, though. The question is, do I have a bigger bowl? I do not know. I don't think that one's big enough. And I need to get some paper towels. <laughs> okay, I found a solution. I'm going to put my Pico de Gallo in a jar. And I'm going to use this bowl to make two. So, And this is much easier. This is what I usually do with my Pico de Gallo because you can shake it up and get those juices flowing all over. And you want, even if you're eating it or not eating it, 
when you open the fridge for something else, just grab it and shake it to keep what's on the top moist with the juices. So, Because the juices will settle at the bottom of it. And then you just shake it up. And before you use it, shake it up. Just shake it up. All right. Got everything in there. There it is. I'm gonna get me an erase marker to put the date on. Just in case we don't use it up. So today is one, three, uh, 23, one, three, 23. What, what, I wonder, two, three, 20, two, three, two, three. Huh, that's interesting. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Okay, this will go in the fridge. Since that was freshly made, and I'm going to use the bowl, I'm just going to rinse it. And if I was going for that flavor in the peppers, I would not rinse it. I would just uh, start in and do it. You know, I'm out of towel. I'm out of clean towels because of my huge disastrous morning coffee video. If you haven't seen it, go go watch it because it is fucking hilarious. Oh my god, it's hilarious. But here I am, still smile on my face. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with oh, I'm gonna grab another can of tuna. Got it. Because um, I believe this is gonna be a two can. Two can tuna experiment. I think tuna in the peppers is good. I don't know. We're gonna see. I don't know. Maybe I won't make. Maybe I'll make the nachos tomorrow. We'll see. We're gonna use our tuna strainer. And the other thing this is good for. And like I said, I love to make one tool do multiple things. So if you don't have a garbage disposal, this works great for that. Buy two. Um, <laughs> I use it as what it was made for is draining the tuna can and it makes it so easy and you get a lot of moisture out of it. So this is, a, and this is a white albacore. So we're going to go ahead and use this spoon here. Is that good or not? Oh my God, it's not grabbing the paper. I went all the way around, didn't grab no paper on this one. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. So yeah, this is gonna be a two pan dish for sure. I think we would be full after eating all these. are a sweet pepper. Yellow, it's not a sweet, but it's not like a green either. Yellow and orange go good together. So we're going to put some uh, tuna in there, mix that in, or mayonnaise in the tuna. We're going to mix that in. Then we're going to go ahead and put in some sour cream. I'm putting all my spoons in the sink, but now it's just me washing spoons, right? Put some sour cream in there. We're gonna put the peppers in there. All these peppers are gonna go in. These are just the tops, so we don't waste any of the peppers. And it's gonna be delicious, just so you know. I'm gonna squeeze the little bit of lemon in there. There we go, just a little bit. Not a lot. Oh boy, did I do that? I sure did. Look at that. Nice shot, right? Inside the jar. 
Because I'm a dastardly to happen. But I'm very observant, so I catch well snack. Put that lid back on that jar. Okay, so we're gonna mix this, give this a good mix. Of course, we're gonna want some salt. Pepper. And we're gonna want some. mix. Get it good and incorporated. If it's too dry you can always add, but you can't take away, so if you need more, I think I'm going to be good here. I hope it'll fill all three of them. I hope I hope. I'm going to give this a little taste. I think, what the heck, let's put these pepperoncinis in here and some of these onions. No, Skippy, you can't have any of this. And before I even taste it, it may have been a little too much. Okay, let's give it a taste. Oh, I still see a little bit of sour cream cheese. And I, oh, and I don't have any sour cream because I had a big, huge tub of it. My freezer froze it, and I used some of it in a dish, and then when I went to go use it again, it was like, ugh. I'm like, oh my God. So I threw most of that away, and I'm mad about that, and my garlic. I'm not gonna fret. Let's give it a taste. I know, I got all these spoons. This one will work. Let's see if I can get a little bit of everything in there. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay, that's delicious. The red pepper gives it a little bit of sweetness. Oh my God, that's good. Okay, maybe a little bit more salt. Bring out that flavor just a little bit more. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. Okay, just going in my recipe book. Making me a recipe book. Okay, let's get a little bit of everything so I can get a good taste. Mm. Mm. I'm going to put the rest of these in there. Cut them up and put them in there real quick. All right. So we're going to put red peppers, yellow peppers, and pepperoncinis, onions. That's what it's going to be. Definitely going to give it the kick I'd like. I love pepper cheese. My husband will like it. He won't even know that they're there. Unless he watches my video. <laughs> so funny. So I told him. Um, oh, let, let's just finish up this, the Skippy fight that I had. Uh, no, you can't have that. That's a pepper. Sorry. I'm going to have that. I got a little bit of tuna I'm going to give you left in the cans. So we'll scrape that out for you. But, um, so I took the broom and I forced him into the bathroom. He bit the broom a couple times. He was mad. Shut the door. And of course, you know me, I'm just like, and the thing about it is I'm a really nice person. But don't back me into a corner, which is what my dog did yesterday. And so he was in a lot of trouble. So we were fighting for the alpha, right? I'm the fucking alpha around here, bitch. That's that's how you know that's how it works around here. So 
Um, except for, you know, my husband and I are a team. We, we make decisions together. So, but between me and the dog, I'm the alpha, right? Okay, so I'm not gonna let him get over on me for that kind of crap. So I forced him into the bathroom and he is not like it. So I shut the door and I said, you're time out, mister. That's it, we're done. You're done, you're out of here. And so I, because you know, this has happened one other time. And I said, nope, you are not gonna attack me like that. So, and I don't know what it is. It's gotta be the Maltese side because the Las Opsos side is, I've never had that issue ever. Or it could be that he was bullied as a puppy from that other dog, which I'm so disappointed in because I got rid of him really quick too. Like he is not going to be in my house and be a bully. So, um, and this one has never gotten over it, unfortunately. Okay, that's delicious. And it's going to be even better inside the peppers. I just hope I have enough for all three. I'm going to be sparing until I get to the end. See, I'm barely going to have enough to fill, but that's okay. They are, you know, there's a lot in there, so it's fine. Yep, that's about all I'm going to get out of those. Which one needs it the most? Oh, the yellow one's kind of big and fat, so that seems to have enough in there. But if they were a little bit thinner, but I don't know if they come any thinner than that. I guess sometimes they do. Perfect and delicious. You know, a third can probably would have been better so they could be a little overstuffed, but they're stuffed good enough. They're not overstuffed, but they're stuffed. Okay, so here you have it. And uh, so three tomatoes, three peppers, four uh, jalapenos. We're going to have a stuffed pepper night. Um, and we are going to take just a tad bit out of olive oil, which is holding up my shelf. Because <laughs> I'm going to like that. Um, Living my best life. So we're going to take just a tad bit of olive oil. This comes out quite fast. So I'm just going to put some in in a, uh, a dish. Oh, I missed out on that. Shoot. I'm just going to give that to the dog. It's fine. Got a little treat for him. Okay, so what we're going to put uh, parsley on these three and those three when they get out of the oven. We're going to top them with some parsley. But I, what I want is, here we go, this, this might work, I hope. So we're going to put a little bit of olive oil in here. Now, that'll work. And we're just going to dab a little bit of olive oil. Sprinkle, sprinkle a little bit of olive oil over the... Because mine comes out so fast, and I just want a little drizzle of it. So, this is a better way to control what you, how much you put on there. I don't have one of those little tiny spout thingies. I guess if I did it from a huge height, it would be okay. But, I just want a little bit on there. There we go. Alright, these are ready to go in the oven. Um, unfortunately, I, I don't have the oven on. I forgot to put it on there. We're going to put it up to 375. After it preheats, we're going to get everything in the oven. Okay, the, um, okay, the oven is preheated. Oops. Got to go. There we go. I don't have a lot of room, so we got to work with it. Work with what we got. <laughs> so the peppers and tomatoes are ready to go in the oven oven is preheated and hopefully I won't make a mess getting them in. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Oh dear. I think I'll put the, pe the peppers in the back seems to be a better idea. 
Okay, so we need to figure out how long we're going to cook them. So 375, if it takes too long, I'll probably go up to like 400. But we're going to go for, we're going to start with, um, what is that, an hour? No, wait. Is that seconds? Why is it? Um, no, that's not. Okay, so that's one. So it's the lowest you can go is minutes, which, okay. We're going to go 15 minutes. That should go to 15.00 or 14.59. There we go. Okay, so it did. Yeah, so we got it set for 15 minutes, and uh, I will be back to show you the finished product. All right, it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna try it, we're gonna try it. But we're gonna top it first with some parsley and I don't wanna forget that, so we're gonna set that right, right up in here and make sure we don't forget it. All right, I'll see you when they're done. Here is, uh, we're gonna to top it with a little bit of parsley. Let's make them look good. Cause you're bougie like me. You're kinda bougie like that looks good. Yeah, a little bit more for the peppers. Oh boy, doesn't that look delicious? Oh my goodness. I may have outdone myself here. Okay, I'll give you a good look at it. There we go. Peppers, stuffed peppers and tomatoes. Jalapeno, red, yellow, and uh, it's going to be delicious. And because my husband will probably will not eat any of the tomatoes, he'll probably have one of the red ones, two of the poppers, and then I'm going to make nachos for the side. And then I will have the tomato and one of these, and I probably won't eat those. I'll leave those for him because the tomatoes can be for me. So I'll have a little bit of one, maybe. So we'll see. But he doesn't like tomatoes, so he won't eat these. He might eat what's in the middle of them. <laughs> He's not going to eat them, the whole thing. He won't eat the tomato, but I will. So that's how we're going to share this meal. I made what we both like, and then we're going to have some nachos on the side. It's going to be delicious. So nachos with two sides. It's not too much. All right. Thank you so much for joining me on my cooking video today. I appreciate it. And I, I'm going to have another cooking video today, but I'll probably post it. I don't know. But I got to get the meat and the beans cooked for the nachos. So when I make the nachos, I want to film that as well. Anyways, thank you for joining me on my channel. Um, if you like what you see, because I'm going to taste it and let you know. I'll be honest. I promise. I'm going to be honest about it. I think a serrated knife would be best for this job. Voila, look at that. And a fork. So... First, we're going to taste one of the jalapenos, and I'm going to take this one because it's the best looking one. I have a mess to clean up down here already. I don't know why Skippy will come clean this up. Hey, Skippy, you want this? Come on. Come clean this up over here. It's tuna. Come on, right here. Come on. Come check that out. See if you like that. Go ahead. I dropped it. Okay, he's eating it. There you go. He likes my cooking. I took out the tomatoes. <laughs> so we're going to try just a little bite of the jalapeno popper. Oh, man. Mmm. Okay, that's good. I'm going to do a little bit of... Hear me out on this. Blackberry, seedless blackberry jam as a, a dipping sauce. I'll probably add a little bit of uh, um, if I have any jalapeno juice. Or so. Oh boy. That's got a bite to it too. Definitely. Okay, now we're going to try the tomato. Let's take a little bite of this one here. We get a little bit of everything in there. Mmm. Oh my God, that's delicious. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That is definitely going in my cookbook. 
This one, not so much because I, this, I didn't make this one up. That one I did. The filling for this one, yes, I did. So if it's delicious like that, both of these will, this will not. So let's see. A little bite of this one here. I'm going to just cut a little piece of pepper off with my serrated, yeah, yeah, with my serrated knife. Jeez, good luck. Good luck with that. Um, there we go. So I'm destroying it, but I'm just, I just want a little taste of what it tastes like. So, okay, now I have a pepper on my fork. I'm going to grab a little bit of stuff. These are going to be messy, but probably worth every little bite. So what, I'm probably going to garnish it also with some, maybe some shredded lettuce around. It's going to look so pretty. Mm. It's good. Not quite on the delicious side, but it's good. And it will get eaten anyways. I hope. These two are bomb. Did I? Oh, yeah, I took quite a big bite there. I'm going to take another bite of this one because this is the bomb. This is bomb. And that is just good. So, what made it into my cookbook? These are not mine. So, this recipe, I changed it a little bit, but still, it's not my recipe. So, that will not go in. The stuffed tomatoes, yes, that will go in. That's my recipe. The filling to this isn't good enough to make it. Sorry. Didn't make the cut. Peppers did not make the cut into my cookbook. If they're good, but they're not amazing like these two are. So I got one good recipe to put in my cookbook, and I'm happy with that. 